All right, so number nine, we've skipped eight. It's the same as uh, seven, of the same type. You just accept, or sorry, not accept, reject or fail to reject the null. This one is also the same. We're going to do the full test. Uh, however, uh, we want to um, find a way to say reject the null, but in layman's terms. So what does that mean when we say reject the null or fail to reject the null? So this is extending that. So we're going to set everything up and talk about it. So a researcher reports 36% of readers make a particular or own a particular makeup car. Okay, so my true proportion is 0.36. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and start setting up my test statistic. 0.36 goes here. Square root 0.36. 1 minus 0.36. And then, um, I don't know my sample size. I do know my null and my alternative hypothesis. We'll compare the true proportion, and I don't know if it's less than, equal to, greater than, or what, but I do know it's going to be compared to 0.36. Okay. <coughs> So we, we have that. Um, we want to test the claim that the percentage is different from the reported percentage. So now that we know that, we know different. So that means this is either equal to or not equal to. Um, furthermore, that tells me we have a two-sided test. Okay, and um, if I'm comparing p-value, I'll have to double it, okay, which I'll focus on that on this one. I'll just look at the p-value. So it says a random sample of 220 found that 30 percent of readers owned a particular car. So we have a sample size of 220 and we found that 30 percent of 0 0.30 or just 0 0.3 on a particular car. So from here I'm going to be comparing p to alpha and um, I already know my alpha is 0 0.02. That's what they're giving me my uh, evidence at the 0 0.02 level. Okay, so 0 0.02 is my alpha, and I need to figure out P by doing my test statistic and then finding that in the table. So we're going to compute our test statistic. I'm going to use the information I have here, second enter, and I'm just going to type over what I have. So 0 0.30 and then 0.36, and then 0.36, and then one more time, 0.36. All I have to do is type 36 over each of those. On the bottom, type over this, 220, 220, and I have everything in. Here's my test statistic, one or negative 1.85, negative 1.85. Remember, since it is two-sided, we also have to consider 1.85 positive. So whatever I get, the area to the left, I have to double it, okay? <clears throat> and um, go to the table, standard normal, negative side, 1.85. So we get 0 0.0322. Now we can see that this point zero three is already bigger than two percent. Three percent is bigger than two, but when you double it, because you also have it over here, okay, you get a true p value of point zero six four four. And we can see that p is greater than point zero two. So that means the error is too high to get rid of this possibility. So we fail. In this case, we fail to reject. Okay. Which means we do not have enough evidence to say that the true proportion is not equal to 36. So which means the true proportion, it could be 36. I mean, 30 is pretty low uh, in percentage far from here. But according to that 2% level of confidence, um, it's not a big enough difference to say that, hey, it 
it's not equal to. So that means that it can be equal to. So we do not have enough evidence. That's the wording. There's not enough evidence to get rid of this claim. So we're going to look at the wording. So there is sufficient evidence to support the claim that uh, the particular car owners are different. And then there's not sufficient evidence. So if you fail to reject, okay, if you fail to reject um, because our p-value um, is greater than alpha, <coughs> we fail to reject, that means that we do not have enough evidence to support the cause that it's different from 36. Okay, so number 10 is one similar to that one, so I'm going to allow you guys to do that one. So either way, um, you should still be able to do the same thing. You're going to find the test statistic, and you can either compare the critical values like we did on number uh, 7, or you can do the p-values as we did on number 9, but you got one of both.